Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Trickett. It's Saturday. Keep your head up. I know everybody's on quarantine, lockdown, masked up, gloved up, the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's a trying time for everyone, but you already know this too will pass. So, just make the best of it. Keep your thoughts positive, guys. Keep your thoughts positive. If you are thinking about who died, giving the death total, being the Grand Reaper, stop it. <laughs> if you are watching the news, you know, all day, half a day, it's way too much. An hour is too much. You got enough a negativity and information to hold you over for a while. Um, if you have fear... If you're telling yourself anything other than everything is always working out for me. I know this is going to work out. I know we're going to be fine. This is only going to last so long. This thing has came and it's already been evicted. You know what I'm saying? It's done. So, you know, um, no need to stress. If anything, just find things to be thankful about. Find things to be grateful for. Because there's so much to be grateful for. There's so much to be thankful about. If you have loved ones around you, if you're alive, if you've seen this day, if, you, if you're hearing this, you're alive, right? Um, you have kids and they're doing well. If you have food, if you have clothes on your back, if your lights are still on, they can't turn it off. They could if they wanted to, right? So you could even find a blessing in that. So just take time and look around for all the wonderful things that you would normally take for granted. But now being on lockdown, house arrests, curfews, and this whole new way of life right now. You know, you walk through the store. It's like a sci-fi fiction. Not like a sci-fi movie. You know what I mean? Science fiction movie. Everybody's all gloved up, sleeved up, masked up. You know what I'm saying? They're, hey, how are you doing? You know, you're just like, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the imagery makes it even worse. It's like it amplifies it. So I'm just saying this. Um... Just keep your head on tight. Know that it's going to be all right. Change your topic. Play music. Watch TV shows or a movie that makes you laugh. Talk about something that's funny. Brings back old memories that is funny. That makes you feel good. Because what you're looking for is a pleasant experience. A good mood. A good feeling. A good vibe. And you're not going to get that if you're staying in a world of negativity, in a world of telling people, you know, keeping up with all of this. We have the news reporters that get paid to stay in that world of just doom and gloom. But you don't have to stay in that world of doom and gloom unless you make a conscious decision to. And then that's just you using your free will to allow fear to gravitate you towards <laughs> towards like a no hope path. You know what I mean? Because fear always brings no hope. It strips you always of everything. So, I mean, no. So just keep your mind focused on good things, positive things. Instead of thinking about all the negative things, the lines are so long since this, um, you know, I hate being locked up. I'm forced to have to be with everyone. <laughs> I'm joking. Making light of it, guys. Um, but I'm just saying, instead of finding all of the things that you can find wrong with this or 
un that that's unpleasant and or that's giving you an unpleasant experience, why don't you use the time to instead of like this many people die, talk about all the miracles God did for you. If you're a religious person or a spiritual person, why don't you talk about all the good things that happened to you even prior to this? Um, why don't you choose to speak about uh, all the good days of health or the bills that got paid or the time you didn't know where the money was going to come from and then poof, the money came and, you know, it was one of those thank you God moments and all of that type stuff. Why don't you remind yourself of those things? <laughs> I'm just saying, guys, it's better medicine to yourself to do that than it would to remind yourself of every negative, you know, thing that you feel this is putting you through and you go through all these emotions, negative emotions because you're visualizing it, so you're living it. Even though you haven't moved anywhere, you're still in the room, you're still sitting on the couch, but in your mind and in your body, you are living this. The fear, the, the no sleep, the frustration, the stress, the worry, the doubt, the I don't know how we're going to pay this or get through this, and all of that is sitting there, sinking in, and you don't want that. Change it. Just change it. Talk about something else. It's no devil. It's just your negative thinking. Your ego trying to scare you. Telling you to look at the circumstances instead of trust and believe. It wants you to go off of what you can see. Boo. And scare you. The big bag boogeyman. You know what I'm saying? Come on. We know better than that. We're not falling for that, guys, right? <laughs> I hope not. And if we are, excuse me, those who are stronger, and then we're going to pray and uplift and send good vibes and good energy to those that are weaker. And those that are weaker say that I am strong and identify with the I amness within you, and you're going to be all right. But when it's all over and said and done with, guys, it's all belief. It's all belief. So believe it's all good. Believe it's all working out, regardless of what everything looks like. And I promise you, I will see all of you when this is all over. Because it's all belief. So how are you going to get through this? Hopefully with a passing grade and not a D. I'm talking like an A, guys, an A+, because even if your faith wasn't strong enough, you're going to pick it up now. And even if you were doubting, you're not going to doubt now. And you're going to pick it up. And even if you had a little bumpy start, you're going to finish big. Continue to reach for the stars. This way, you're always reaching for the best. And I'm out, guys. Peace out. Take care. <laughs> Enjoy this amazing Saturday. So peaceful and quiet out here. I'm telling you, it is amazing. Take it easy.